So before we start working on the textures, I want to show you the good resource for your textures where you can get it. And they work very great for PBR. So if you're going to the textures.com and you remember before it was CG textures, they have a lot of very nice scanning seamless textures. When you go to do it is the resources. And actually in resources we can, let's go to latest textures right here. We can go in categories. But you'll notice on the side, we have all these different type. And I would just want to go to 3D scans. And you'll notice right there, we have it, all of these textures. One nice thing about this, uh, it is for your projects, most of them it's free to use if you're using low resolution. You can obviously use a high resolution, but you need pay for the premium credits. But for these projects, we're going to use it like Mardi Gravel example. And that one is, we'll use it just the lower resolution. So we'll use the medium resolution, which is, will be more than sufficient for us. However, if you want to do close up, you can purchase premium one, which is given excellent, excellent type of the texture. Notice we also will provide for us, the side will have it, that normal diffuse map, height map, normal map, roughness, and ambient occlusion if we need it. So we have it all necessary textures to create a perfect looking uh, PBR texture inside the VU, and that's what we're going to do with this. So when you purchase with a project, some texture will be embedded. However, we cannot by the uh, by the copyrights, we cannot just distribute the image itself. You need to go to this website, register and download it for free these images. You don't necessarily need to download these textures. If you look back again, um, let's go a little bit back. You can look right here. You have way more different textures. You can select your own. Overall, what we're looking to do, it is have a texture for our ground, basic textures, something like Campbellstone, maybe for the path and maybe something around water. Again, Water, maybe not. We'll see how it's going, but you can right here, you can see we have a very nice uh, river. So, muddy gravel. We have it, a river stone. In this case, we won't use it, but we will use it. Some other elements. Um, let's go scroll down to look, and it's well located in Campbellstone. So, right here, we probably will use it, this um, forest one type Campbellstone for this. And as well, we can use it maybe some of this rocky. So we'll see um, sand and prints, shell. So the, you can see it's a lot of probably riverside, this one as well. So we can use it all these different materials in our project as we going to create. And let's look right now first how we're going to do. So right here we have it, our terrain is selected. We'll double time click and open our material editor. Notice I am in advanced material editor. If you are in a basic mode like this, just click on this button that says Advanced Material Editor. That will expand or give it additional properties. As a simple material in a drop down box, one going down and switch to PBR materials. This way we'll see how a lot of things changing, including colors and all properties. So instead colors, we want to use a map pictures and we'll use map pictures for the colors, roughness, ambient occlusion, and for the normal. So we'll use all of this. And if you remember, it's have like five maps. So we'll go to do this. Let's select the map at picture first. And here we have our interface where we can point and load it our image. So we click on a folder and navigate to our folder. Right here we look and it is texture matic gravel. So I'm going to select this, open. It's seamless texture with applied to ours. It's look kind of funny, almost like a glass cover. So we'll need it to add additional properties to this. First metallic will go zero. And we have a couple other ones. So we have a high map. We have an ambient occlusion and normal. So let's go to normals first. We'll go select map it pictures as well. We'll go open and right here we have our normal. So we'll go open this one. Next, we'll go to um, roughness. 
say we go to map it pictures select and we have I think this one is our ambient this one is our roughness so we'll go select roughness and this also will be our height let's go open okay next we'll go to the bump and for the bump we'll use a height map let's go click again open our height we'll go select height map and for the ambient let's go to same things map it picture open and we're going to select our ambient inclusion one so at this point we have our basic um, setup with a scale zero and it's a mapping world standard so let's just without even using apply any additional elements and i just want to verify that our depth is set we can work a little bit more with normals but we'll just leave it everything as default let's go ahead and click ok and render just to see what we have at this point and you can notice we have very nice terrain very good texturing so again it's basic okay look very good um let's at this point i want to just look on details but to do this i don't want to just move my camera so i'm copying and paste my main camera so i have a two cameras this is will be just my close up and with this one i just want to look on my texture a little bit closer i want to see how it will look if it's we have good details but i think i'm sure we have it very nice all right here let's go ahead and click again render and let's take a few seconds but you can see we have it nice rocks and i think we have a very nice positioning so it's not that um complex very easy to add our texture and we have it nice bump materials normals yeah, and roughness okay it's look good okay let's go back switch to our main camera and uh, next what i want to do is create the path and i want to do path by drawing on this so we'll save our image and i'm going to right click and go actually to edit object so an edit object we're going inside this mod when we look before uh, one thing you'll notice as we paint we have it also our paint tool and it's what i want to do i want to actually um, paint my path as it going towards camera to do this we'll just click on paint tools and disable our high field tool so we only using as a paint and it will set as default rock which is okay we'll go to use after and i want to increase my flow higher now let's make even smaller 60 so right here you can see when i start painting it will will start showing me a second so we'll go right here one this will select our rocks then maybe let's go with a little bit brighter so we can preview and what i want to do is paint right going from ours and we'll go down right here i think this is going down yeah to the camera so we can go right around this area okay so let's go to uncheck our invert because we need to paint and i can go right around here let's go click our path paint going around here right there camera yeah let's do this way and we'll paint that way okay so i'll just go double time it will have a little bit heavier but right here i paint my texture again this is just a path for my texture Okay, when we're done, let's go ahead and click OK. And at this point, we can go ahead and open our material editor. And you notice what's happening. We have a new material added. 
and alpha this is what when we draw our path this is what's happening with our alpha map we're creating at this point if i'm going to switch to pbr material you'll notice it's switch elements but we still have it our alpha enabled it's what we wanted but we do want to modify some of these elements so for example instead procedurals because we're in pbr material now i want to use my Campbell stone and we'll grab it the um forest Campbell stone property for this one we'll open next let's go to the our bump and for the bump same we'll go to map it pictures and we'll use it high um so right here we'll use it height cable okay we don't need any metalness for the normals let's go ahead and select our normals that we have for payment roughness will go same select map it pictures and upload it our roughness for this and we'll see if we um the pictures and select our ambient occlusion okay at this point just in case i want to verify our highlights so let's take them down and a present stall set okay world standard and let's scale to one on this as well so we all have it the same thing okay we'll go ahead one thing we need to verify because when i schedule one it's may effect alpha map and uh, this is what I want to test because sometimes scale, uh, changing scale will affect alpha. So in this case, we may be going to um, change. And let me just check, bring camera a little bit closer to my path. And I see the path kind of move away. So it's what I suspect. We'll go back to this one and change to 0 0.5. We can modify other elements as well, but that way we enable and let's preview, see what we have it. Okay, I can see our cables not coming, but problem you can see right here we have it cutting off because the texture even seamless, but it is orientating wrong direction. So to fix it, this we actually need to open our material. And let's go to rename this one to path and we want to actually rotate so we're going to um, rotate clockwise once here the things we need to do for every element so we need it at least once rotate on all of them so they all will match okay we'll rotate everything clockwise once let's go ahead render and again we maybe need a re-rotate again just to be sure it's going properly so we can see right here a path going and it does look a little bit funny with this on the middle kind of going so let's go ahead see what we can why it's happening most likely it's because it's our scale again if we switch to our scale to the one okay, let's render and this is maybe actually one effect alpha so i just want to be sure yeah, we have our path going and this is edges of the our path so in this one drawing it's not necessarily maybe work very well because we have those edges so we can go to and replace with other herbal stone but it is again this is a seamless it's what happening those edges of cable stone but i do like how the path going around so let's um replace with texture which does not have that line again if we open our texture it's these edges it's what's happening if you can see the color edges and right here this is edges it's what affecting in when we was painting because it's going straight line it's, it does not bend them and this is line is what created so this is easy to fix we need go back a camel stone so in this case we'll just preload something with no texturing and let's go to click and replace it so instead this one will go open new 
Okay, let's go click right here and we'll go and use it just this once. I think it's does not have its sides, so it should apply a little bit better to us. Same things, we leave it alpha there, but we do need to replace, of course, all of this, our bump map. So right here is our height, our normals. And I don't think we actually need to rotate in this case. We can still leave them rotation if needed, but I think in that case, we don't need to worry. So it's our roughness. And I think this is our roughness. Okay, and also we'll preload it our ambient occlusion. Okay, let's click right there. Okay. As it preloaded, we can render and you will see it's ready. We'll don't have that line going. Actually, I think this path it's even look a little bit better than other ones. It's more contrasting. Okay. Um, I think it's look good at this point. So let's go ahead and continue adding some other elements in the next tutorials.